Namaste Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Welcome to my channel, Lasha My Magical. If you are new, special welcome to you. I hope you won't be new until my next upload. And if you are coming back, thank you very, very much for your time and attention. This is going to be a general reading for all of the Earth signs watching this. So it may not resonate with every single one of you. Please keep that in mind and take what's yours and leave the rest. This is how it goes. It's a prediction reading for the start of January forecast reading for the first half of January even though the time is fluid as I usually say so whenever you find this video messages they will find you as well so Virgo Taurus and Capricorn Sun Moon Rising and Venus Let's see what the universe has for you. And of course, Happy New Year. Let all of them wishes come true for you. I wish you a very peaceful and pleasant start into the 2022. I hope that we will hang out. Create some community of ours here. So let's see what do we have. Earth signs. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I will really appreciate that. Also, if you would like a personal reading with me, you can check the description box for more information. <clears throat> so let's see what the Celtic cross has got for you, Earth signs. <coughs> okay. We start off your reading, Earth Signs, with the Seven of Wands. So we get some fiery energy with this one. This is a subject theme for the start of January. Um, as I said, we had some fiery energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius with this one. Seven of Wands is about contemplating um, ideas, wishes, as we were speaking about that um it's also uh, a very meditative energy with with itself and it also has the supportive energy of okay i make a wish upon i made my wish upon i put my manifestation through now i'm waiting for my ships to come so from far what i can see from this one is um, you really are trying and getting in that position of, okay, I need to stay in my zone, I need to relax, I need to keep my shit together. So in a way, my wishes actually do come true and my ships do eventually come to me. And um, I feel like a lot of you have been putting work into manifesting something and creating something new whatever it may be for you earth signs take it how it resonates um i feel like the third chakra solar plexus chakra is very open for a lot of you so a lot of you are really stepping into your zone you're really creating this safe space for yourself in a way of uh, your focus, your concentrating. Um, and as I felt when I started the reading of, of the energy of the Seven of Wands, I feel like a lot of you has already been there. Like you put your focus on something very specific and for you and you have concentration on that. And now with the start of a year, with the start of January, you're just waiting for your ships to come. You're just waiting to see your wish fulfillment in front of your eyes. Um, very confident 
uh, within itself is the seven of wands. It's like in, in this comfort zone, bubble zone, protective and, and not guarded, but it's like very protective. You are very protective of, of, of yourself at times, but in a good way. It's not like you're putting your guard up. It's more of a, this bubble kind of um, protection mechanism. So good way to start. The message which can either support our subject team seven of wands or um, create some uncomfort, uh, we have seven of cups. So I can't really say if this one is supporting the seven of wands or is it more like okay it can get in a way because seven of cups it can get in a way it's a little bit confusing energy it's a little bit okay i have some options um it can be relationship wise it can be project wise it can be job wise it can be um it's like you got a lot options but you know you need to make a decision and you know you need to choose something and you're being kind of indecisive when you start the January. Maybe some of you are actually confronting a lot of people. Maybe that's what your work puts you through. When I say work, I mean job or career or hobby, whatever you may do. Or maybe your environments include a lot of people you are just in a lot of crowds and you, you have some decisions to make and you just find yourself in that a little bit confusing energy. Um, I don't necessarily feel that this can cause a problem to the seven of wands. Maybe that's exactly why you, you shape yourself in this protective bubble mode. Um, yeah, as I said, I don't feel it can necessarily cause a problem, but it's um, it's a little bit confusing for you. It's like you, you don't know what to choose. And there has definitely been something which you left behind, something very transformative for you. And it has considered a person, something you um, yeah, left behind and, and put a cycle put a cycle onto it in a in a meaning to you close that cycle and it brought you to transformation and change of yourself and now you find yourself in having options and needing to make a decision when it comes to the position of your unconscious influence we have ace of cups so i feel like a lot of you are not actually really knowing and maybe you just don't pay attention. Maybe you just really put your focus on some project, work, just doing your thing, you know, focus more on yourself. So um, in this way, you're not really conscious about that maybe there is someone who wants to share their cup with you. Ice of Cups can also represent love for oneself which is also getting along with this one. Maybe there was your past experience where made you a little bit tough road and tough journey for yourself. That's why you find yourself, okay, I need to protect my energy. I need to grow. So in a way I can allow the transformation to come in. In a way I can allow the manifestation to come in and my wish to be granted and come true. So definitely building love for yourself. And I mean, it can also define a partnership for those of you who are already in a relationship, for those of you who start building something more stable and more grounded and more lovable uh, when you start uh, 2022, when you enter the January. And we are getting close. You are getting close. So something you're not conscious about and it has to do with love when it comes to your conscious influences 
what you are conscious about is the six of swords and with this one we have some air energy libra germani and aquarius so some of you may have dealt with some air sign who put you through a lot who put you on a journey which was actually needed so you can go through this transformation and i feel like you know you know earth signs you need to leave it behind in order to move on and, and build something new this ace of cups can actually also represent somebody having an eye on you that was one of my first thoughts when i looked at the card it's like someone secretly has their eye on you a little bit of stalking uh, wipes when it comes to old habits and what you were used to Earth signs, we have major arcana, first major arcana appearing here in your reading is the hermit under the number of nine. So yeah, definitely putting focus on yourself. And with the hermit, as I said, I feel like a lot of you just waiting your ships to come. But in order to do that, you actually do know what you need to do. In order for that to happen, you do know what you need to do. And this is representation of the Six of Swords energy. You need to let go of something uh, and you need to, to um, you know, just leave it behind. Just leave it behind. Sorry for this. The Hermit is also very meditative, very calm energy within oneself. So I feel like a lot of you... Um, are still doing the healing it's not over when it comes to the healing phase for you earth signs and it's exactly where you need to be when it comes to it, yeah it, it it was taking a while with the healing uh, phase for a lot of you i feel with the hermit because it is actually presenting uh something what you are used to do and the habits of yours like a lot of you were sitting in this hermit energy for a while it just needed to be that way don't judge yourself when it comes to new paths you want to create a new walks you want to walk it's fully wish fulfillment it's something a lot of us actually do want and you have it here it's a ton of pentacles it's a major message and major energy for, okay, I want to create something I can be protective of. And in most times, it is a family. So I feel like a lot of you want to create a family. You want to, to have that special someone who is going to be supportive of you, who will be there before you fall to catch you and who who is just going to want to build something greater and something bigger with you a lot of you are working on on wishes coming true in the start of a year because a lot of you do want this energy of, of ten of pentacles you do want to have happy stable home happy stable grounded family someone with whom you can actually build with this is what you want to create when it comes to you yourself earth signs towards our subject team our seven of wands we have a queen of cups i feel a lot of you through all that experiences which brought you here and through all that pain you've been through it's been a journey for you and through all of that i feel like a lot of you do keep your heart open you have not lost hope and that's a great to hear that's really great to hear uh, because not a lot of people have a tendency to do so when they experience something like that something like brokenhearted and devastated and and you know, betrayed and stuff like that. 
and with the queen of cups you definitely want to have this ten of pentacles like you really pray for that you pray that the next person is going to be it person for you earth signs with whom you can build with i mean some of you can have already some one in mind with the ace of cups this is an ace so you may already have somebody with whom you started something and you just feel it goes in this direction and it's making you happy because that's actually your wish that's where you want to go and what you want to create and with the queen of cups i feel like you you are praying for this love to stay you really want that to happen and you are being open you're being open because you feel like, okay, I get my emotion and feeling stable and with the seven of wands, there is passion, there is willpower, there is all of that and queen of cups is just, you know, supporting that energy of seven of wands. Because even though you are protective, as I said in the beginning, it's not like you're guarded. It's more of a, okay, I need to nurture myself. I need to pay attention to myself. I need to uh, claim myself and, and just be there for me. And that's a great way to start. Great way to attract exactly that kind of a person who will just do the same for themselves. And guess what? Do the same for you too and the connection of the both of you. So definitely open to, to uh, equal give and take and also receiving. When it comes to what do you attract from the outside, from your society, environment, culture, is the king of swords. With this one, we have air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, I feel like it really goes along with the star message for you earth signs with the seven of wands uh because of this protection and this willpower and this okay i know where i stand my ground and i know who i am now i have found myself finally i mean i said it in one reading i don't know which it was but i think it was pisces um it's like we tend to lose ourselves just to be found again and that's also some way of circulation and circle of life and with the king of swords uh you got wiser you are intelligent you are very open-minded you are very um how do you say it um you understood the assignments or times it's like you finally understood what's the point of whatever it may be for you and i feel for a lot of you it is some deeper love connection and as well the connection and love for you yourself at times and you put the swords on you have no guards because you know who you are you just find yourself you know where you stand you don't need to guard up yourself and this is this is of, of the position of what you attract from the outside. <clears throat> very stable and very grounded and very open-minded and open-hearted. And I, I this reading is beautiful. This reading is not only beautiful but also very powerful. When it comes to your wishes, or what do you do not want to look at. But it's definitely your wishes. We have a queen of pentacles. So we have some earth energy with this one. This is your energy, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And it's a queen. So I feel like a lot of you are actually in the position of queen. And I mean, with the seven of wands, yes, it's a confirmation. With the king of swords, yes. Queen of cups, yes. You are in that queen position You want to create something stable, something grounded, something nurturing, 
a lot of for a lot of you as i said it is a family it is a home you want to have it with that special someone with someone you can maybe also build a business together with someone with whom you can actually build together you know home family support business Queen of Pentacles is also very materialistic uh, in a very good way. She is a giver and because she is a giver, um, it does comes back to her. What you give does come back to you. You got that stability and security and I feel like some of you do want to come to this point but for others of you you are already there starting the new year and opening this new chapter 2022 a lot of you find yourself in the energy of queen of pentacles you have stable grounds you have financial stability it's looking good for you. You just need someone to share it with. And that's the thing which is going to start happening in 2022. You know, 2021 was a year of singlehood since it's representing the one. So I believe that that's why it has been a lot of tough lessons and tough experiences and uh, you know, just um, a lot of happenings for every single individual. So when we come to this new year, 2022, it's a pair, it's two. It's about unity, about building, about partnership. It doesn't have to be romantic wise. It can also be, um, I finally found a partner with whom I can build my business, with whom I can create something very powerful and you know earn a big money in my pocket and be able to share it actually do something for for the society and for the world take it how it resonates when it comes to closing off your reading earth signs um it's representing the key message for you it's the nine of cups i mean this reading is just beautiful i love your readings earth signs most of the readings which I um, start doing since I started a channel from 18 November, um, Earth Signs were doing pretty well <laughs> through all of those experiences and journeys. And, you know, you are standing your ground most of the times. So Nine of Cups is water element energy, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. It's... Um, it's a wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups is having that emotional stability, knowing your emotions and knowing your feelings and coming to, to that level of uh, not letting them to control you. When I say them, I mean your emotions and feelings. So it's pretty much stable and calm um, you stand your ground and you have found what you desire. So it's happening for a lot of you. Um, it will start happening with the start of January. For some of you, it's already starting to happen. Since we are pretty close to, to January. Beautiful reading earth signs. I will pull three messages for you lovelies from Osho Tarot deck. Then also three love universe messages for you and some chakra messages. Let's see. Earth signs. We have maturity, 
we have rebel and we have existence. So, a lot of you have come to the level of maturity. And I definitely do feel that when I look uh, uh, at the energies and at the cards, you know, Seven of Wands, Queen of Cups and King of Swords and Queen of Pentacles, um, you do have two queens. And you have one X. So, yeah, it's, it's something. It's something. And I feel like you have leveled up your level of maturity. You arrived to the place where your wishes can actually come true. That's how I'm going to put it. With the rebel, uh, I feel like this is this energy of you know, you stand in your grounds and you, you found yourself, you know who you are, you know what you can uh, give, you know, um, you just find yourself and you are ready to, to invest and provide in something much bigger, what will bring you benefit. And I feel like this is the representation of rebel. It's, it's representing you in, in your reading, in this reading, Earth Science. Because rebel is um, especially Aquarian energy and rebel is someone who has this kind of an attitude of um, I know my worth, I know my value and I won't take any less than that. And I feel like a lot of you are actually freeing yourself. We do have some chains um, on a picture, on a card. So I do feel like you are eventually, with the start of January and following the month of January, you will free yourself from this one. You will free yourself from this one. I mean, you are on your way. You're on your way because you actually know, okay, this is what I got to do. Past belongs in the past. I do want to move on and create something new. Rebel is also very intelligent and very wise and very passionate as well. Uh, and you have existence. I mean, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. It's like, you know, with existence, I'm getting a sense of uh, consciousness and awareness. You're brought to yourself and that's exactly why you also brought um, a level up when it comes to maturity. Because now you know, like the time has come. Okay, when it comes to love messages from the universe for you, Earth signs, we have honor to self. And it's saying, just curious, when was the last time you looked into a mirror and addressed yourself as gorgeous, magnificent, or sublime? It matters. So I feel like a lot of you are actually doing this with the Seven of Wands and with the Hermit. And that's a good one. I go where you go. Um, I believe... Water signs or air signs? I'm not sure anymore, but some some of the signs I did the reading shortly. Maybe it was air signs. I had to, had the same message. For a lot of you, it is an air sign. The new person, not too old one. And the message is saying, tell me, are you finding that the occasional stranger has a crush on you? That for words, you're almost mindlessly chosen, hearts broken too long, begin to heal. Yeah, for a lot of you, it is still this healing process and it's totally fine that it is that way. That I sometimes well up with tears when it's time to say goodbye. Remarkable, our findings, exactly. Our findings, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the way how you look at things. So don't forget to honor yourself and I'll go where you go. 
somebody will follow you and fulfill the wishes with you at times. The last one from the love universe messages is be true to yourself. And I feel like a lot of you are actually doing that. Maybe this full moon is going to be significant for you. I believe it's on the 18th of January mm, in Cancer. You may not ever understand what's going on in their life. But you can always figure out what's going on in yours. I feel like this is a part of healing process. And this is a part of you finding yourself just how it needs to be in its own time. Let's see, are you going to get some advice from chakra messages or just a little reminder? Okay, the first one is our first chakra and our root chakra and it's saying let go of your worries. You are guided and protected by Mother Earth. So it's a reminder for a lot of you that you are protected. As I was saying when we start this reading, Earth Science, you are protected. There is no need to worry. Your ships will come and you know with the message I go where you go um this person is gonna follow you okay and it's gonna create this new path with you and um actually this message was standing underneath the honor to self so yeah it goes along honor yourself remind yourself how beautiful you are be thankful be grateful for what you already have which you already manifested. The second one is of the heart chakra. And it's saying the answer that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. So in order for this to happen, again, it's the reminder, but in order for this to happen, uh, you know what you need to do. You need to free yourself from those chains and let go of the past. So the new creation can actually arrive. The last one for you, and this is important message for some of you, I believe it is of the throat chakra, our fifth chakra, and it's saying heal your neck issues and let your throat chakra shine. So a lot of you being having um, a neck pain, maybe it has to do with the way you sleep. Maybe some of you were getting sleepless nights. Uh, because of it, just, you know, honor to yourself, go to massage, go to spa day, do something well and something great for yourself, just to say thank you for existence, you know, thank you for being here. Um, pay attention when it comes to that and let your throat chakra shine. Be open to receive and give, so speak from your heart and be open to speak be open to share the communication um, say what you need to say if you have something to say to your past person do so because maybe in that way you will actually close the door and say okay thank you for teaching me thank you for lessons maybe the person will thank you for teaching them the lesson and uh, now it's time to go separate ways um, the way we have decided so and it's totally healthy and totally fine to do so, you know. That's why I just felt to say that randomly. So maybe it will have some importance for some of you. Uh, my lovely Earth Signs, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Please do like, share and subscribe. Also feel free to comment. I would like to see some of those just to give me a glimpse how the reading does resonate. Uh, enjoy your holidays. Enjoy your time. Until we meet again, take good care.